this video we'll be looking into likely neck coach 25 physics questions and answer that you should add up to whatever you are reading so the question one says that you should differentiate between adhesion and cohesion and also a conductor and insulator so let me start the solution from here so starting from here let me you know whenever you're asked to differentiate ensure you you usually tabulate so let me use this place for the adhesion and then let me use this place for the words conductor and insulator so for the adhesion now write it here adhesion and then cohesion so here is conductor here is a uh, insulator insulator now for the addition now the difference between addition and cohesion is that addition is the attraction between molecules okay let me write it straight addition is the attraction is the attraction between molecules between molecules of different substances of different substances so that's the that's what addition means it is the what it is the attraction between molecules of different substances why question question is the attraction between molecules between molecules of the same of the same substances so the meaning of this in just simply means that addition means like like a um, uh, uh okay let me take this thing to chemistry you know in chemistry we have homogeneous and heterogeneous so heterogeneous means different substances coming together like different faces coming together while homogeneous means same faces coming together so addition means different molecules you understand why um question means same molecule so in chemistry i can say i can say addition means what means homogeneous Oh, sorry addition will mean heterogeneous Why question will mean homogeneous like i'm just trying to relate this thing in terms of chemistry but this is physics so take notes okay now what about conductor and insulator okay so we know that conductor means anything anything that can conduct electricity like metals why insulator they are what things that cannot allow electric current or electrons to pass through them like paper nylon your bed any any okay any non-metals in even in, even in a nutshell you can say conductors and metals while insulator are what non-metals that one is also part of it so let's write conductor allows electricity or heat or electrons it depends to flow easily why insulator insulator prevents or it resists the flow of electrons or the flow of electricity the flow of electricity the flow of electricity or it so you can add more by saying okay conductor is always metals they are metals why this one they are what non-metals you can see that you can add more so that's that about question number one now let's move to question number two look at this question number two it says that calculate the energy of a photon photon means light of wavelength this remember that the symbol for wavelength is what lambda 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 is the symbol for wavelength so we are given h this h means planck constant what did i say planck constant uh if i should write my my age like this this thing is called reduce plus constant reduce plank constant this one is plank p l a n c k yeah plank constant is a constant why this c is the speed of light the speed of what the speed of light so is more or less like um velocity the speed of light more or less like velocity so how do we solve this thing it's a very simple thing that you should be expecting in your neko physics exam and please add it up to whatever you are reading because it's going to help you a lot so let's solve this okay so i'll be solving the question here so i'll be solving the this particular question i'll be solving it here so solution now 
the formula to use while solving this is energy equals to h v initially it's energy equals to h v v is what velocity so you know v equals to c over what lambda v equals to c over lambda if i'm not mistaken yes v equals to c over lambda so whereby if you now substitute whatever you see is v then you replace it with what c over lambda so therefore your energy is now going to be h c over what lambda so this is the formula i'm going to use energy equals to plant constant times what uh, speed of light over what lambda so what is the plant constant 6.6 .6 times 10 to the power minus 34 joule seconds this thing is joule seconds so multiply by the speed of light okay let me put the unit okay i'm coming first speed of light is 3.0 times 10 to the power 8 meter per seconds something like acceleration over the velocity the, the the wavelength known as lambda is what 6.0 times 10 to the power minus 7 meter now what is going to be the unit remember that energy the unit for energy is what joules 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 or kilo joule if it is much then we have it as kilo joule so let's check if this unit is going to give us joule so this guy this plant constant is what the plant constant is joule seconds so let me write joule seconds here multiplied by this one is meter per seconds that is meter over what seconds isn't it so let me cancel seconds cancel seconds we are left is for joule meter so after joule meter then divided by what meter so let me divide here by meter as you can see so meter cancel meter we are left is what joule so this has certain us that this formula is perfectly correct okay so now let me now multiply all these things if you want to multiply so e will be equals to so just say 6.6 .6 times 3.0 6.6 times 3.0 so everything times 10 raised to power minus 34 plus 8 hope you can see that divided by 6.0 times 10 to the power minus 7 so now let's start let me press 6.6 6.6 times 3 that is 19.8 so therefore e is equals to 19.8 times 10 to the power minus 34 plus 8 minus 34 plus 8 that gives minus 26 so minus 26 all over 6.0 times 10 to the power minus 7 okay so which is because by the time you divide this thing by the time you say 19.8 over 6 so times 10 to the power minus 26 remember that this division will change to what minus minus and this minus 7 to minus 7 so by the time you divide this so you have it as 19.8 19.8 divided by what divided by 6 so that gives us 3.3 .3. so that will be 3.3 .3 times 10 raised to the power now minus 26 minus minus 7 minus 26 minus minus 7 and that is what minus 19 so minus 19 joule so that is the final answer so the energy so from here now the energy of the photon that means photon is light a single light so the energy of a photon of wavelength is what is the energy of the photon of a photon is what 3.3 .3 times 10 raised to the power minus 9 joule okay so let's move to the next question so the next question question number three says that give two similarities between inductor inductor and a capacitor so solution similarity now the first one is that um inductor store energy inductor store energy inductor store energy so inductor store energy in magnetic field in magnetic field so why capacitor store energy in an electric field why capacitor capacitor store energy in an electric feed 
So this simply means that they both store energy. If you want to write it in your exam or you want to learn it, you're going to learn it as instead of you writing this, just write that they both store energy. So that's just because they are, because you have to write the similarities. What is similar between them? You just write the both store energy. So that's very simple. So let me take this as number one. So now if they now say okay, but is the explanation, you will now say inductor store its own energy in a magnetic field, where capacitor store its own energy, energy in an electric field. Okay, so number two is that both of them both both of them both of them are passive components passive component component plural in electric in electrical circuits so that's that so both of them they are what they are passive components in electrical circuit these are the just two similarities that you're going to write should in case they ask you to give two similarities between an inductor and or and in between an inductor and a capacitor okay so another thing we should uh we'll be looking at is this question number four question number four says that you should distinguish between solar panel and what solar collector and also you should distinguish between repair i mean repair from maintenance in a machine so let me write solution here so i also tabulate this thing the way i tabulated that number one as well okay so looking at here now if this one is solar panel why this one is solar collector this one is repair why this one is what maintenance okay so let's start with the first one solar panel now what is solar panel the difference is just that solar panel converts sunlight into convert sunlight into electrical into electricity rather so using photovoltaic photovoltaic cell using photo voltaic that's pv cell so now what about solar collector solar collector converts sunlight so convert sorry convert sunlight into its energy into its energy using using so okay um solar um, solar collector converts sunlight into its energy so using okay sorry usually for eating water or air so that's what solar collector does so usually eating usually for eating water or air now for this repair so now for this repair and then um for this repair and maintenance you know everybody actually even without me doing this particular last one all of you should have known that the meaning of repair means this, the meaning of we are maintaining something means this so if you are repairing something and you are maintaining something it's a very simple thing for you to know so repair is the process of fixing is the process of fixing a damage fixing a damage or faulty machine so maintenance is the regular care care so regular care and servicing a machine a machine so servicing a machine so that's it so you can okay now to buttress the explanation 
If you are repairing something, that means it already has a fault. So you are not trying to fix it. Then this one, maintenance. It's just like I see we are caring for that particular machine. And then we only service it. So that it's going to prevent it from damage. So, okay, let me put it. So, uh, it's the regular care and servicing a machine to prevent it from damage. To prevent it from damage. So, that's it. That's it. So, these are what I have for you. Share this video to your classmates, your friend. Give us a like, thumb, nice comments. And expect our likely possible questions in mathematics again. So, ensure to subscribe. Look at this solution. At least it's very simple for you to learn as a physics student. Thank you so much. Bye.